In this video, we're taking a look at Carnival Cruise Lines. Now, of course, Carnival Cruise Lines was a stock and a company that was severely hit by the pandemic. The company was all but brought to a halt and the stock price absolutely plummeted. But of course, Carnival Cruise Lines has been doing everything to get themselves back online, just like many of the other companies in the same space. And in fact, they have already started launching some new offers and some of these ships are in fact sailing already. Now the question has to be asked, is this a time for you to climb into the stock? Does this mean that there's a potential upswing and are things gonna go back to normal? And of course, all of this has to be taken back to the fundamentals of the company. We need to look at the fundamentals, we have to look at the financials and see exactly what state the company's in to help you guys decide whether or not this is potentially a good play for your portfolio or not. Before we jump into this video, can I please ask you a huge favor? Can you click on the like button below this video? This helps us rank these videos and just by clicking that like button, you help support this channel. So before we jump into the fundamentals, before we jump into the financials, just wanna quickly take you guys around some of the news items to help you understand exactly what's going on behind the company and the stock at the moment and the market at large. And of course, just have a quick look at Carnival's website. Carnival's website has always been a really attractive website in terms of the offers. And we can see here multiple destinations to lure you in with multiple price points to lure you in. And of course, the big focus is on people who are vaccinated. Now, something I gotta just point out, cause this to me is very funny, especially because I do have a sense of humor about these kind of things coming from South Africa. You gotta love the fact that they got a black guy in a sailor's hat there. Um, promoting this stuff. Talk about trying to be inclusive. A lot of my black friends would say, listen, dude, we don't go anywhere near the ocean. And uh, I find that pretty funny. So hats off to Carnival for being inclusive. We do appreciate that. And uh, of course, coming to some of the news items, I think this starts to speak about exactly what's going on in the market right now. So just look at some of the headlines. Carnival reveals uh, full cruise ship deployment. Um, they've obviously been talking about the fact that they're deploying their ships back into the ocean. Things are trying to grease the wheels and they're really trying to get things back to normal as quickly as possible. But there are a couple of things we need to pay attention to. Of course, Carnival Cruise Lines has updated their testing requirements for fully vaccinated guests. And there's in fact an article out talking about how they're going to basically uh, deploy mobile COVID testing units peer side before people board. So even if you are vaccinated, you're still gonna be going through those tests. And of course they're doing absolutely everything they can do to grease the wheels, to get things back to business as usual. And uh, looking at uh, some of the things they're tr trying to do, of course, they've just had their 40 hour flash sale um, and free cabin upgrades. So there's really just, it's, it's all hands on boards in, in, in terms, all hands on board in terms of the marketing, in terms of really just trying to get everything back to normal, trying to get the company back to operation. And you've got to feel for Carnival Cruise Lines and in fact, all the companies playing in the space. This pandemic has really, really hit them hard. And uh, like I said, a lot of focus on guests who are fully vaccinated. And of course, they're constantly updating uh, the requirements and making sure that they are keeping their guests as safe as possible. Because of course, nobody wants to see a repeat of what happened in 2020 uh, with a lot of passengers being stuck on these ships due to contracting COVID. And uh, this begs the question, is this potentially a good time to climb back into the stock? Is this a time where you should start thinking about these sorts of stocks as potentially a good long-term play? And is this a time where potentially this is a discounted stock? Well, to help you guys understand this, let's lean into the things that we know best, which is the financials and the fundamentals. Now, just looking at the stock here, we can see 2020 was devastating for the stock. It was devastating for the whole industry. And we can see it just took an absolute tanking. And then things have slowly started to move back upwards. But of course, of late, the stock has been under pressure and there is a lot of news around the industry which is really helping drive these price points whether they are based on fundamentals or whether they're based on sentiment the fundamentals will help reveal that now coming to the stock overview just to help you guys understand the enormous scale of this company 26 billion we're talking about the share price on the 10 year was 32.83 currently trading way below that at 22.96 and the last time it was trading at 32.83 was september 2011 so that tells you just how far the stock has fallen obviously right now no profit margin in the trailing 12 months the net equity very very surprising 
20 billion. That means they have an equity to market cap, even despite having had the brakes slammed on them completely. They have an equity to market cap of 77%. That means that at today's price, they could essentially buy back 77% of all shares on the open market. And that is pretty phenomenal. And if Carnival Cruise Lines were not this well capitalized, there would definitely be issues for them. Now looking at the dividend, there is of course no dividend cost to company and they have negative free cash flow of negative 11 billion. And a lot of that has to do with the last trading 12 months. And in fact, if we come down here into the last three years, look at the year on year picture, things become very apparent. We can see of course, there has been massive shareholder dilution, especially over the last two years. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Carnival had to go to the market and had to raise capital. Assets are up slightly off the three year, uh, liabilities are also up off the three year, and uh, total equity surprisingly is not too far off where they were on the three year mark. And that is actually pretty impressive. They've actually managed this pandemic pretty well. If you have a look at total revenue, total revenue is obviously sure. I mean, that is just way down in comparison to they were, where they were 18 billion down to 140 million in the last trading 12 months. We can see negative gross profit, negative operating income, negative net income, negative operating cash flow, and negative free cash flow growth. So we can see the company has been under severe pressure. Now coming down to our 12 point fundamental checklist. The first thing we're looking at is the share price. Has it doubled since inception or the tenure? And in fact, we can see that the price is way down, so they get marked down. They have no P ratio at the moment, so they get marked down. Their profit margin is non-existent, so they get marked down. They do, however, have strong equity, so that counts in their favor. Then we look at the number of shares outstanding. These have basically been going up, which means that there's been shareholder dilution, so we have to mark them down. If we look at total revenue here, total revenue has not been growing the way we wanted. Gross profit has been going into the red, operating income in the red, net income in the red, uh, and uh, cash free cash flow is also in the red. And of course, free cash flow, uh, like I mentioned, is actually a little bit worse off than we had expected, and so they're getting marked down there as well. Now, if we come down to the final verdict, we can see on the fundamentals on the positive side, they're pretty much meeting 8.3% of the positive fundamentals that we require when investing into a stock, 83% not being met. Now, the industry median price target for Carnival is sitting at 27.50. Uh, I think that's a little bit bullish considering everything that's going on. But more specifically, if we look at the return on equity in the last trading 12 months, we look at return on asset, we look at return on invested capital, all of these are essentially in the red. And so because of that, I think that this is probably a stock that we need to be very, very cautious on. And so I would expect that the stock is probably gonna close out about 22 bucks if the market continues the way it is. And I would expect that the cost of operation is gonna increase quite significantly, especially because of the COVID requirements. And so those profit margins that they've been used to are gonna be under a lot of pressure. And I really think it's gonna take at least two years for the stock to really start bouncing back properly. If the stock price moves, uh, in an upward direction quite drastically. It will not be because of fundamentals. It will be very much based on sentiment. And so for that reason, this stock for me is definitely not a buy. I've got it as a sell. Uh, if this stock is in your portfolio at the moment, I would seriously, seriously recommend potentially offloading it and just sitting on the sidelines and waiting. And if momentum picks up and you know, they have a couple of good quarters and the fundamentals are back in play, then definitely start looking at the stock again. But for me right now, the fundamentals aren't there. So I have to say that for me, the stock is a no-go. But I'd love to know what your thoughts and comments are. Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, uh, please click on the like button to help us rank and get these videos out. We really would appreciate it. Before you go, I'd just like to let you know that you can get access to all of our courses absolutely free of charge. There's no fees to pay, no Patreons to join, and all you have to do is visit our homepage of our website and click on the sign up button. Link is supplied in the description down below. Now, you'll get access to our stock investing course, our real estate investing course, as well as some really great courses on managing your personal finances. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe and join our Money Tribe here on YouTube, 
you'll get access to daily stock analysis videos, crypto analysis videos, as well as some really great personal finance content. And of course, all you have to do to subscribe is click on the subscribe button below this video. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever we add new content here on YouTube.